we believers have been demonized globally anyway. So before we get started, everyone please... To rise for Fire Nation National Anthem. Fire Lord! My friend in Burns for... Oh, hey, welcome to the channel. I'm a talking snake. Please enjoy the video. Go back to the Fire Nation! Have you ever watched an atheist debate over the existence of God? Many times, in fact. Go ahead and show us two 30-second clips of this guy being angry in a two-hour debate. Why does he seem so angry? Don't trust me? Have a look. Jesus did it all at once. Miracles can happen. If you say that, it's easy. Show me. It doesn't have to be every time. But show me a real miracle that... Well, obviously, that guy's lost his fucking mind. Skip. Okay, we get it. You folks do not believe in the existence of God. But why be so mad about it? We don't get mad at something that does not exist because it's absurd. Are you sure you do not believe in the existence of God? If you're not aware of the Pepsi challenge, it's a game you can play where everyone loses. Because it's absurd. Are you sure you do not believe in the existence of God? No, I do not believe in God, and I'm not pretending, but a lot of theists like to go around and tell me that I am. Or do you? No. No means no. Now, I understand you have a hard time wrapping your head around that. And don't want to believe in the existence of God, because it will expose your perversity once you acknowledge that he does exist. No, there's no known counter to the reverse perversity in a maneuver. I don't decide. Jax wins. I think we are getting somewhere. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. So, according to atheism, we humans are all stars bumping into stars. Yeah, she's also a science denier and a young earth creationist. She parrots a lot of things that Ken Hoven and Kim Ham say. We have no substance, no value whatsoever. Then why such hostility while mentioning God? Well, this should be profound. Now she's going to quote from a fictitious book of essays while leaving out most of the quote. English writer and philosopher Aldous Huxley, also the brother of the atheistic evolutionist Sir Julian Huxley, stated that, I had motive for not wanting the world to have a meaning. The philosophy of meaninglessness was essentially an instrument of liberation, sexual and political. So this Aldous guy is a mythicist, a universalist, a pacifist. He did a bunch of LSD and was friends with Timothy Leary. I mean, this guy makes a great read for a wiki search, but what does he have to do with atheism? He wasn't an atheist. Wait a minute! Do you see where we're getting at? Atheists are mad at God because they don't want to be bound by his moral standard. Her level of sophistry wouldn't be complete unless she claimed that her religion is the one that came up with all the moral standards. So what do they do? They deny the existence of God and make up their own rules and live in them. Yeah, that's right, because nobody knew before Moses come down off the hill that things like killing and stealing and slavery were bad. It's like you have closed your eyes and pretend that no one can see you. Because you cannot see others. No, it's people that think like you who stick their head in the mud and hum hymns. This video is proof that you hate everyone who doesn't believe in your imaginary friend. It's one thing to hate God because you cannot fit into his moral standard, but... Your fucking book is cruel by today's standards. It's fucking obsolete. Let it go. Oh, and be the good girl. You always have to be. Conceal, don't feel. It's a totally different thing to deny his existence just because you had a bad experience with a church, a pastor, Let them know. Or a teacher, what My logic is undeniable. Yes, Vicky. Undeniable. Your church's history is painted in the blood of others. It's not just one or two instances. I do sympathize with people who were genuinely abused by pastors. You get no sympathy from me! You want sympathy? Look at the dictionary between shit and syphilis! By pastors, teachers, elders, etc. Physical abuse, rape, report it to the law enforcement. You have every right to do so. Forty years I've been asking permission to piss. 
I can't squeeze a drop without say so. And because of the action of a few, are you ready to give up on God who saved you from sin and death? <laughs> so I was born a sinner. I'm going to die a sinner. And how did your God save me exactly? And if you're an atheist now, then why do you feel such a strong aversion towards God? <laughs> That's an easy one. I want people to know it's okay not to believe in your fucking delusion. Why feel anything anyway? Because according to your worldview, we humans are stardust formed by a cosmic collision with no substance. What's the saying? All flesh, no substance? Suggesting that my life is meaningless because I don't believe in your fucking fairy tales does not prove your point. Doesn't that make your argument ludicrous? Absolutely not. And if this is your argument, you are failing at it horribly. Atheists cannot run away from their conscience. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Yeah, so while she reads this, I'm just going to read from Harry Potter. Dumbledore closed his eyes and buried his face in his long-fingered hands. Harry watched him, but this uncharacteristic sign of exhaustion or sadness or whatever it was from Dumbledore did not soften him. On the contrary, he felt even angrier. Or else excusing them. Of course, I'm one of the few atheists who advocate for circumcisions, not because her book says so. are made in the image of God and they bear the conscience the law being engraved in their heart bear constant witness and thus they feel convicted day in and out they know what is right and wrong they know that rape murder pedophilia are wrong so when the Catholic Church was getting all this heat for uh, protecting these pedophiles didn't they all claim that the Bible didn't say that that was a bad thing but where do they get these moral standards from? Oh, that's kind of obvious to me that I didn't get them from your fucked up book. But I'm curious why you're asking where I got them from. You got the fucked up book on morals. After all, we are all starters bumping into starters. We do Let's talk about that NPC reset. Do not have any moral standards. We do not have any feelings. So, yes, it's been hypothesized that suns can make elements about as heavy as iron. So where did the heavier elements come from? Well, possibly from suns crashing into each other. Not sure what it has to do with God, though. Uh, they do not even like the idea of death. They don't want to die. What? Oh, she's got me all figured out. I don't want to die. Like all of us, because God didn't design death in the first place. I honestly can't fucking imagine that anyone thinks that was a fucking coherent it thought. It was the sin of Adam and Eve that uh, induced the fall. But God's the one who cursed him with the death and the painful childbearing and all that stuff. She she actually believes that there was a magical tree and a and a talking snake. An atheist worldview often crumbles in front of sound judgment and argument. Absolutely not. The atheist argument does not crumble because you deem it so. You cannot have sound judgment if you're filled with aversion towards the one true God. So even if I did accept your God as the one God, why would I bow down and worship him? He's kind of an awful thing. Atheists resist the idea of hell and call it unloving to preach about such a non-existent place. So as a snake, I can't do finger quotes, but why would I want to go to your heaven when hell sounds a hell of a lot better? Take it in this way. Your daughter is sick and you take her to the hospital and the doctor will examine her. Lisa knows you mean examining. Maybe he's a Gungan. Is that why you so don't want to show your face? <laughs> Say that your daughter is sick, and if so and so operation is not performed immediately, she will die. It's a great point if you want to argue by analogy. What do you do when the hospital says we can't perform the surgery unless you sign this paper that says we can give her blood in the event that she needs it? Do you let her die because you don't want her soul to die or her to go to hell because you gave her a blood transfusion? So you admit her to the hospital right away. Will you be mad at the doctor because he hurt your feelings? Or oh, what? Hurting your feelings? Or would you thank him for saving her life? People don't get upset at doctors for saving lives. Why not just take her to a preacher and get her magically healed? It'd be cheaper, considering your aversion to science and everything. So basically, a loving thing that a Christian can do is to warn people from plunging into hell instead of loving them into hell. <laughs> Repeat that again for me a little bit slower. Warn people from plunging into hell 
instead of loving them into hell. Well, dang on it. Never thought of it like that before. If I have a puppy right here, and then I kill the puppy. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, Derek. And there's nothing wrong with it. A believer should be ever ready to bear the reproach for it. We believers have been demonized globally anyway. Oh, your typical Thea strategy. We Christians have been being persecuted for the last 2,000 years or so. Yeah. Atheists, no matter how hostile they may be towards God, are not our enemies. They are our mission fields and... Ooh, I love to dance a little sidestep. Oh my God, you just spent like five minutes sitting on atheists and now they're your mission. We are to preach the gospel to them. <laughs> I've read your gospels. You preach that shit on Sundays. And we are to pray for them. Save we... your breath. There's more important shit that you can do with your time. Not save them. It's the job of the Holy Spirit and it's only God. Yeah, you're right. It's not your job. God saves whomever he wants. When a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Stop it. Get some help. Be sure to do all that clicking around and commenting stuff they talk about.